try and share the screen. All right. That makes it harder for me. <laughs> well, harder than it looks. Um, my staring. No. No way. I have screen, and here it is. And yep. this, here we go. From the okay, I talked this morning about the updates and the activities within the grant uh, director's arena this morning. I think we'll spend about an hour on this, but we have some new information and we have some updates. So hopefully, this will prove to be helpful for this morning. These are the topics that we'll be talking about, and there are a couple of others that will come in, but basically it's updates and looking forward, uh, trying to get through the rest of the spring semester. February, please remember to put on your uh, report that you did submit TRIO grant or grants. Um, it's, as I'm sure you remember, important to record what is pending, especially now that grant dollar generation is specifically identified in the system strategic plan under Goal 4. Be sure that you get credit for all of the uh, proposals that are submitted. Also, that any other activities that you have submitted, any other proposals, and those that are awarded, in the first quarter of this year are really important to us. We'll talk about a little bit more. Um, we did the grant report for the board, which is meeting this morning for the bid ending in December. And we get that report, that's great progress. Meeting here at the system office with many, many different persons and bodies and groups to the Registered Apprenticeship Grant Program. It's due in about seven weeks. Uh, it is now looking like the deadline is marching toward us. But if you want more information, you're not in, um, participating, let know, and we can have um, you access to see some of the things that are happening. Awards, I want to talk about a minute. We have some issues with those, and we need your help to fix them. Control Office and Legal Affairs may be on the call this morning, and if not, they're going to be listening. They will see, for those of you who got a award, I give your modified proposal, because we all had to change them because the amounts were decreased, the budget submitted along with the budget narrative, and in executed or in process, MOs and contracts. They're concerned that recording of the monies will not be consistent unless they see the documents, and we want to ensure that there are no problems, particularly because it is state funding, and at this point, is isn't the second year money appropriated by the legislature. We're waiting for that to happen, hopefully, but in the room, I'd like you to please send documents to me by the end of the month, and if questions, you'll hear back. Either someone in legal or someone from the controller's office. Uh, we have grants and tax compliance accountant here at the system office. His name is William Parsley. I've met him. He's um, extremely engaging and very, very skilled at helping us. So he's going to begin to uh, look at documents and help us with them. We were a COSI grant recipient. Please, please help me out. I have to call you and harass you, and you know neither is like that. So please get these in for me. Um, of those applications that were funded, so it if funded, uh, we'll hopefully to get ready for the next round to get you funded that time. But at this point, the work funded are the ones that we need to hear from. Uh, questions on that. Okay. Grants handbook. The only thing I know is that we did have one school ask to have a different assignment. We've made that switch. We have again the uh, new uniform grant guidance regulations on April the 9th. 
of the current assignments, and I'm going to begin to send information about what we're expecting to see, but we do have anticipation of seeing draft documents by the middle of May. Uh, that's right before graduation. Your present to me is your draft, if you want it that way. Hope is that we will begin to have everything together for review in the summer and that we can have this going into effect in the new fiscal year. Registerships I want to talk about just for a few minutes. Working hard on this area. We have by three sectors. These sectors align very well with the sectors that the Department of Labor identifies in their webinar. And working with three employer partner groups and listed here. This has changed. What has changed is the discussions are more intense, they're more focused, and they're often. So the group that is helping put this together, or actually is putting this together, now meets at least once a week as others uh, as the uh, is unfolding with each of these employer sector groups. So we, I think, pleased with what we've seen so far. It's just a very complex project. It's a very exciting initiative, but it's going to take a lot of time and effort. You'll hear this, I think, for years and years. So uh, apprenticeship will be a new part of all of our vocabulary. For the initiative is based on these five tenets, and they're in we're calling our elevator speech, which is a less than one page describing the work. Uh, looking at putting together these particular components, and then the other activities that fall in each of them. The program which is unique to us, also called the apprentice, a pre-apprenticeship bridge program, depending on um, the document that you're looking at. The academy for employers, which we believe is critical, particularly for employers who are taking an apprentice into their work environment for the very first time. Apprentice and community college experiences, which can be concurrent as long as we are observing the Department of Labor requirements who are on the job training and uh, non-work training and uh, education. We're talking about credentials. I've stuck with the people in student services about things like how these different ways to get credentials are going to be transcripted. That will be a change in policy and procedure for registrars. That will take us effort and some time, but it's a goal that we are all hoping we can achieve and at the governance structure. So the comp project it reaches across virtually every aspect of mission and training, and we are all hoping that we get something that we're pleased with, look for and look for drafts. Our goal remains to have a draft done in approximately Six weeks. So in April, if you have nothing else, um, wonder and you want some, and you fall within the area that these particular uh, funders focus their attention, these I would suggest you take a look at. Yeah. Small month, a different uh, foundations. Look May as a time to submit, but June is a big one. So if you're looking for money in June, some uh, available opportunities. They are drastically constricted, although some of them do have preferential areas. It's a big month, and then people go on vacation. So take it June if you are interested in pursuing some of these particular funders. Uh, things we're doing are a little different. Uh, the system is applying to be part of the Kale Competency Based Education Group. Oh, yeah, someone has.
Mr. Music on. Hello? Hello? There's the music? The music doesn't let us hear you. Someone's put themselves on hold with music on the background. Okay. Um, Sylvia, can you mute all the participants? Mary can. Yes, I'm going to, I'm going to mute you. everyone. We don't know who that was. Well, no, we don't know for sure who that was. working on. This is exciting. I love the music. Um, Kale competency-based education program. The policy was passed last month. We do have um, now in competency-based education. It is also um, activity in the system for your plan that we must have a number of course and uh, principles of study that are competency-based. So, given that that is a requirement in order to align with the system long range plan, we also are looking at participation, which is primarily training for faculty and uh, administrators and staff who are applying to be part of that group. So, watch the word we're keeping fingers crossed. We're looking at the Department of Education's first in the world proposal. There will be a proposal from the system, as far as I know. Uh, if we do that, we mask that campus is not applied, but, but not gotten official word at all. They are extremely competitive and they search base. So unless you're prepared to take that on, this may not be the opportunity for you. As I call, they go from two to four years. And the fund funding is $3 million over that period of time. But the replacement, the um, fund for the improvement of post secondary education, no FIPSI, which is very competitive in and of itself. But I'm putting out there, so if you start to hear word from me, be prepared to know we may ask that you not apply on your own. Colorado Department of Education. Of Colorado State Library is going to again have funding through the Library Services and Technology Act, known affectionately as LSTA. Uh, last three years, when I've been a reader for them, um, I've actually left money on the table each year. Uh, libraries tend not to apply for these monies and feel that this is a good opportunity. The state has approximately $300,000 that is not released for this year. Uh, there was some request for that to happen. It did not. not. It was probably the first Friday in May. And look and see if this is a program we'll do it as a group or if individual campuses will be encouraged. The difference in funding is that if a campus applies on its own, the limit will be $20,000. If we apply as a group, we can have the whole 300000 if we could convince them to give it to us. So we'll nation when that is released. We're the Anslow group taking the lead to apply for money from the National Science Foundation with application due September 10th. We'll start working on this one in early May. Okay. Is looming out there. The uh, Secretary of Labor would love to have around five, but unfortunately, uh, doesn't have any money for, for it. So we find some dollars or have some dollars appropriated or get some money back from tax grants that are closing. We think there may be some opportunity here. Uh, we've looked at this a little bit, but don't have any idea what it would entail. Um, don't really know what it would say, but know that there may be a, a round five of tax. We've just to postpone until the fall. The Bing Farmers and Ranchers program from you with SDA will be partnering on that one. And we have some schools that have stepped up where ag science, animal science, and related courses and programs to work with us in this area.
so that one go. We at um, the response that we're getting from a developmental education sustainability plan, which has been put together by the team here, um, what that will look like, but the good work on developmental education prompts us to make this request. We're also at the Equity and Excellence Sustainability Initiative, and this is one that President McGowan has asked us to do. Um, we're looking at the work that has been done in Arapahoe. No, I'm sorry, and uh, now is being done in Trinidad as models for that to roll this across the state. So you're hearing more about this, I think. We want aspiring managers kind of hanging out there. Uh, it's something we want to do, just I'm not sure how how it's going to come together. We're meeting in uh, early April with the directors of the nursing program for a tip, hopefully, to work on uh, increasing the number of nursing students at the schools in Trinidad, Otero, and Lamar, and see find some funding to support the students who might choose to attend nursing school there by some colleagues at four-year schools look at participation in the USDE's and uh, innovation fund uh, known in the in the grant circles as the I3 program again highly competitive uh, last year there was one award I believe at Denver Public Schools but in this, and there is uh, an interesting program we may have to partner uh, significant work uh, needs to be done. Uh, at the ATE Centers in 2017, so if you think about that or talk about that a little bit, it's because I think it's coming. I just don't know when when or how. We all need to support student services, 3D presentations, and research partnerships. I got a call yesterday from UCD to do some more work on that, so I have no idea what we'll be back with. And the other things that I spend time looking at, um, the program is coming up. It's a Department of Education initiative for educators that is just an instructors who are in service now, who have been inducted, who are uh, want to improve their skills and techniques. Um, you can see that Bill Gates does not like HSIs. He wants them all to be AISs, but they're not. They are HSIs, Hispanic serving institutions. We know that that deadline comes up again in December if you want to apply and your campus is available. Um, F, gaining early awareness and readiness for other things we don't know that we'll do, but that is on the list from NANSLO, and so we are, we are honoring that request to investigate. I'm looking for money from NSF. I'm just looking um, for money from the library community because our libraries are so important and they have gotten a lot of money in the past. So we're trying to fold them into the group a little bit. We are actually first in the world, I3 and LSTA, just so you know. So likely to happen. And you'll hear it a little closer. Um, there are changes from any of these vendors. They still won't want to charge the way they like charge and be good at pushing back, saying, no, we not have have 13 times your annual fee. And one group was willing to cut the fee a tiny bit if they could sell us five-year contracts. And probably that won't be happening, but you can send paperwork and nothing has shown up. So I think the funding that we get, they tell me that we could increase our funding a lot. And I hope these turn out to help us someday. I'm just not sure that until they change the model that they use for charging us, that will a lot of change. Um, until we have the three-day intensive training in Banner before we do any more training on that, they are scheduled to come in uh, a short time, and there will be three days of this training from a Lucian to ensure that we are understanding everything we're going to do on the Banner Grants module. So stay for the invitation to participate in that training once we've spent our time with the Lucian. 
If you be in the phase two pilot group, let me know because so far it's Pueblo by themselves and I know what company. You'll see that we have uh, so there. I also encouraging you to watch closely. There's, I read this morning there will be a fall announcement for funding for the new initiative the president announced earlier this week. We called Tech Hire. That will be a fall 2015 offering from the Department of Labor. I have more details on it, but I got word this morning that will happen. We obviously added this offering from the Department of Justice and we're on the conference call last week. It was closed and didn't cancel the session or they were closed. So we heard of this talk for 10 or 15 minutes before we decided that this was not happening for us. We're waiting for that conference and webinar to be rescheduled. But we are interested in funds to help us make sure that the campuses are safe for the students and the staff and the faculty. So, so please that we're watching that and you'll hear more. Um, we're dealing with our legal affairs group, and they are very interested in seeing if we can secure some dollars for this work. Seeing as Wednesday, April 8th, it's in for, it seems like it's next week, but, but four weeks is a long time. We will materials from this uh, today and paste um, up on Basecamp for you. We port due early April, now being carefully monitored as part of the uh, fire strategic plan for the system. It is more important than ever that we have a complete and comprehensive report is accurate. So I would leave by the month of April, hope brings eternal. A cutoff date is the end of this month, so any activity you have through the end of March, we'd like to know about. This will to the board meeting in May, and we want that we have a, a very good report. I you've all been doing a lot of things, and I'm not at all worried about it, but it's good to show off a little bit. Happy to do that. Questions do we have? What questions do you have? What more can I tell you? to recently and some of you I haven't but uh, happening. to ask you because you said that the system will want um, social grant for first in the world and that I'm hearing um, that there were two uh, requests from one from CSU and one from CU for front range to partner in a first versus a two world uh, grant and we did. But with the originator of the grant, is that something CCCS does us to do? Oh no, I think partnering is different. I don't partnering in the same camp as actually being the lead applicant. So yes. I that would be uh, not worried about. Okay. I appreciate knowing just so I don't ask you to do two things. Well, I think one can apply um, to more than one. Can I just want to know so I don't expect someone to do a lot in, a say, a consortium grant if they're also partnering somewhere else so they can be focused on what, what you want to do? But other I don't think they're the same at all. I don't, you tell me. Look into the phone. Yeah, look into the microphone here. As long as I break it. Uh, we had had a meeting here at the the system with um, three from the IT industries here in Colorado and one in uh, Houston that's planning on moving one of those operators here and it was just back from, from the group on what their perception is for apprenticeship models within the IT industry and, and uh, 
thought the meeting went, went really well. The participating co colleges were all represented there except Pueblo. Did they call in? Did Pueblo call? Okay. That is recorded, and I know that they're going to be putting it up on Basecamp. And I just sent all the whiteboard uh, shots to Sylvia to, to add to that as well. So I hope you all um, uh, take a look at it and listen to it. I thought we all thought it was very insightful for the potential for uh, I, the IT industry and the apprenticeships that will open up. So just wanted to make sure that we have that out there and that a chance to take a look at the board models and also listen to the discussion. That's great. We're spending a lot of good time. All of our sector groups are meeting. Um, the healthcare group is meeting today. Um, I'm meeting with Kama on Friday. I met a woman about a potential uh, strata marketing plan tomorrow. We're trying all the pieces in place for this, so you'll see more as we move forward with this, but a lot of time and energy is going into this particular initiative. Other questions? Other comments? I, I range would like to be on that second post for the banner program. Okay, Carol. I'll put you on the list and let folks know because I um, don't know when it will happen. Um, I know it will happen uh, before the end of the semester. So we'll put you on that group. Okay. Any that we need to do today? We're briefing on base camp. I will send reminders to COSI recipients. And if you want other information, let us know. We're happy to share and happy to hear about your successes. Um, if there's anything else I can do, let me know. Otherwise, I appreciate your time, and I'll talk to you all in April. Great. Sure. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.